This is from Joy Simmons. She says, do you think that the Democrat plans are, one, Biden out, two, Harris in and chooses Hillary as VP, then Harris out, Hillary is finally president? She says, God in heaven, I pray not. Uh, interesting, this is a great time to uh, show you a little clip. This week, Hillary did what's called a master class, and that's the thing you pay for. Uh, trust me, I did not pay to be in Hillary's master class. But a clip of it has surfaced, it's, it's out, and we've been able to, uh, to assess it. And in this, Hillary reads the speech that she had written and prepared to accept the presidency in November of 2016. Now, the reason this is significant is that she's reading this speech. This is, as she says, for the first time, she has shared it publicly. And this week, she decided to let everyone in America know what she would have said, what she wanted to say, what she thought she was going to say after being elected president. And interestingly, she did not have a concession speech. She was so sure, so cocky about her election, she had only one speech, the speech of victory. In it, she gets really, really emotional and breaks up a little bit. Watch this. You will survive. You will have a good family of your own and three children. And as hard as it might be to imagine, your daughter will grow up and become the president of the United States. Well, that didn't happen. Uh, this was uh, part of her speech in which she was uh, reading, as it were, a letter to her mother who is deceased. And she was telling her all about that her daughter had been elected president. I, I can understand why she would get emotional about that. Uh, and I'm not making fun of her, but I just want to point out that there was such a confidence on the part of the people on the left in Hillary's camp that she was gonna be elected. And you know part of the reason for that? Because they had it all set up. Uh, all this Russia hoax stuff that was fueled by our own Justice Department and the FBI and the CIA. And the more we know, the more shocking it gets that at the highest levels of government, there was collusion. But it wasn't Donald Trump and the Russians. It was the Hillary Clinton campaign and the law firm that Hillary had hired that created a phony dossier that took it to the FBI, who knew it was phony, but went ahead and got a FISA warrant so that they could spy on the Trump campaign and Trump operatives. And even though they couldn't find anything, they pretended that they did. And you had people like Adam Schiff in Congress holding up an empty page saying, we've got the stuff right here. He didn't have anything. Because if he hadn't had it, he'd have shown it. He showed us nothing because he had nothing. We spent $33 million so that Bob Mueller could go out and get the most partisan hacks in the government to investigate Donald Trump and they couldn't find anything but they impeached him anyway. So you put all that together and I can understand why Hillary was crying. They spent a bunch of dough on a campaign that still failed. And the worst of it was she was defeated by somebody she couldn't stand, Donald Trump. So for the next four years, these same leftists decided they would do everything they can and they would create, if, the, if necessary, a whole new way for people to vote, quote, mail-in ballots and they used the cover of the pandemic as a means to get people to vote without any accountability, without any knowledge of where these real people, were the people whose ballots were being counted, were they the people who actually marked those ballots? We have no idea. Am I saying the election was stolen? I don't know. I'm not saying it was because I don't know. But here's what I am saying, nobody, is willing to do the kind of investigation to find out just how legitimate it was. And that, to me, is very troubling. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts.